Bing, 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 Hello, and welcome to Bean Doodling. I'm your host, Kara Bean, and today's doodle challenge is uh, involving numbers one through nine, and I added some of the mathematical subtraction, multiplication, division, addition symbols too. The point of today's doodle is to say that if you can write numbers, then you can draw cartoons. It uh, doesn't have to be hard. And I thought I would go through just some simple cartooning together using symbols you draw or write every day. And you don't question whether you can make the number nine, you just do it. And I want you to feel the same way about drawing, like you can just do it. Um, so. To begin, I want you to take a piece of paper, get out your favorite drawing utensil. I'm gonna use a Sharpie just so you can see my marks on the paper, but you might wanna use pencil if you want to take your time and go slowly or add a lot more detail. Um, and I want you to write the numbers as neatly as you can at the top of your page so you have them there to look at. And everybody writes a little differently. Your handwriting doesn't have to be just like mine. Um, you can do it your way as long as you can tell what each number is. And then these symbols as well. Okay? And just practice, you know, your penmanship and writing them just to warm up. It's a good way to start. So I started with um, the number zero, right? So zero is just a nice O, which is a great shape in drawing. Okay, so I gave myself four zeros to begin. And each time I'm going to do something uh, different with the zero and make it into a different cartoon character, trying to use uh, mostly just um, the numbers and nothing else. So I don't have to look things up. I'm just going to use pre-existing shapes that I use all the time um, for the sake of drawing. We can also turn the numbers upside down, left or right, um, whatever you need to do to make it work for your drawing. But so to begin with, what if we turn that so it's facing uh, vertical? So we'll just draw it here in the middle of this. Right? And so now it's giving me eyes and a nose just by taking the division symbol, which I'm sure you've drawn before, and just put it inside of the zero. Okay? And then um, I could use the subtraction sign as the mouth. Kind of a serious little guy, but he's got a face, and I didn't use anything else besides what we already had. Um, and then the number three is a great texture number, so if I wanted to add hair to this figure, I can take the, the number three and just turn it in different directions. Two threes, All right, and now he's got some curly hair, okay? So that's my first cartoon. See if you can draw that along with me. And then we'll move on to the next one. This next one's gonna be a little bit trickier. Um, we're gonna use the number two. So we're gonna go inside of the zero, and then I want you to write um, a number two, like that. All right, and then we can take um, two smaller zeros, and just put them one inside the two, like that. And then one on the other side of the two, like that, but small. And then I can make two more zeros inside of those zeros. Okay, and now I've got some eyes and that kind of, the two starting to look like a nose. And a fun little way to quickly make a mouth and a chin is to do an upside down two right underneath. So this is a little bit tricky. Um, it, it'll go something like this. Like that. So now I've got a nose, two eyes, and sort of makes a mouth and kind of a chin shape. Um, and I guess I can go back to the three again and maybe just go really crazy with it. Doing a lot of threes everywhere. Maybe this character has a really shape. 
shaggy number three hair. You could also experiment with the seven if you didn't want to do the three. I think I just enjoy writing for you. All right, so now I've got this second character. Again, only using numbers. So let's do um, some more tricks with the number two. Um, I was thinking that you could have fun um, if you put the number two on its side so it can really get to the pointy part of the two. Um, so for instance, flipping it up this way and then doing the same thing here. And that's called symmetry when you make them sort of mirror shaped against each other. So you have two number twos. Um, and then like we can work on a face so we could do um, zeros, but maybe on their side. So it's a slightly different shape than the first one. Okay. And then we can work with, um, let's use the number four. So four could just go like this. Put it right there in the center. Um, and then we can do two more zeros inside of the eyes going this way. And you can see I'm kind of trying to make this into a cat. So I think I'm going to use the threes for the cheeks. Just put them in like that. You have the minus symbol and you can use that to kind of force things. So I want to make the nose look more like a cat. I'm going to put a little line there to make a triangle on my four. And um, I can use, um, I can add two curves, number three, but have the middle of the three meet the point there. So that's looking more like a cat, uh, which is great. Let's do the last one. So for this one, I want you to draw your, first you draw your zero, and then you're going to draw a large number three, like that, okay? Um, and then what's a great eye shape out of the numbers is the number six. So I'm going to use two number sixes. There's one. Together, and that makes a nice eye. And this is starting to look like a monkey to me, so I'm going to use the number eight, but I'm going to put it on its side so it sort of makes nostrils like that. And then I can use um, my subtraction, just a little line there, okay? And then I can use, I can have two more zeros to create big ears. And then if I really want to push it, I can take it backwards, uh, three there. And then I can create texture with my subtraction line, which is really just a dash. And I can use that to create little hairs. So that's a good way to create a furry texture. Um, and then if I really wanted to stand out, I can do some shading so I can come in and shade in the eyes. Maybe shade in half of the nose. It gives it like a nostril feel. Um, and then I can, I can add more detail if I want to. And this is, you know, optional. Depends how much you want to add into your into your shape. Um, and then I have the number uh, three again. That three really comes in handy for me. I can kind of put it in going like this and create shoulders. Okay, so there you have it. Um, four zeros, adding numbers to it to create different cartoons. And you don't have to do exactly what I did. I would say like if you want to start by copying me, but then Go off on your own and start playing with these and maybe start with things that aren't a zero. Start with anything you want and just see how can you draw when you only use numbers. And guess what? Anybody, if you can draw numbers, then you can make doodles and you can make cartoons. So I hope I was able to get you to doodle a little bit with me today and um, play with some of your favorite numbers. Doodling is fun and relaxing and something that can occupy your creative brain. So thank you for drawing. Keep doodling. Take care.